good morning, good evening and good night depending where you are around the world right here though it's good morning in Australia it's about 10.30 approaching about 35 or 6 degrees it's going to be 40 today which is over 100 Fahrenheit 105 to be exact and I'm uh, as I said I'm on the 48 special I've only done 500 k's on it since I've had it so I thought I'd better get her out of the shed and uh, do a vlog on it and I'm heading to Kersbrook I saw Bandit Nev's channel last night and he went to Kersbrook to get some cherries from the cherry cart and I thought what a great idea so thanks Bandit Nev I'm heading to get some cherries myself. I'm going to sample them first. If they taste alright, I'll grab them. I normally get them from down Lenswood Way, which is a fair way to travel. Truth be known, these cherries probably come from there anyway. Look guys, I was just wondering. I want to name the shed. I want to call it something. I don't want to call it the man cave everyone has the man cave and I think biker bits he calls his the man cave I want to call it something unique so if you've got any ideas let me know I'll, and I'll run a, a mini competition so if anything comes up that strikes me as yeah that sounds good I'll give your channel a shout out Not that you're going to get a thousand subscribers out of it, because I've probably only uh, I've got very few myself. But you know, every bit helps. So if you can think of any suggestions of what I could call the shed, um, let me know in the comments. What I propose to do when I work out the name of the shed, I subscribe to Biker Bits and Nay, his wife does a lot of woodwork and they live in Bendigo in Victoria I'm going to get her to make me up a nice unique wooden sign and I'll drive over to Bendigo and pick it up and while I'm there I'll do a bit of gold prospecting a few names have crossed my mind one was the stable um, you know, with all the sort of motorbikes in there, the iron horses if you like. I was going to call it the Twisted Throttle, but one of the girls I subscribe to, I think she's called her bike the Twisted Throttle. So I'm not 100% sure if I'll go with that now. So yeah, if you can think of anything, let me know. Something different and uh, we'll have a look at them and see what we can work out I just might make a mention uh, there's new laws that come into South Australia as of the 1st of December 2019 and it's in regards to helmet cameras and they've passed this law which is a bit of a grey area and it says you can't fit action cameras to your helmet unless it's approved by the manufacturer so the first grey area is What's the definition of fitment? Now we all know that you can't go drilling holes in your helmet and fit things to your helmet. 
because it compromises the safety of the helmet. We all know that. So is that classed as fitment? And we also all know that if you've got Velcro on your helmet, it's a sort of a breakaway point. With very little effort, the camera would come off and just fall away. So is that class as fitment? Oh, there's the cherry place. So is that class as fitment? I don't know. To me, fitment would be a permanent fit, but they haven't said that, so the coppers, if they feel want to be arseholes, I reckon they can get you. Just the fact that it is fitted to the helmet, even if it's with sticky Velcro. And cop this. The fine is 300 and, well, up to $375. In fact, I think it is a neat 375 Talk about the bloody nanny state. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, contact the MRA South Australia and uh, ask them if they can define fitment look it ain't gonna stop me I can tell you now they can go and well and truly get stuffed and I've seen coppers with cameras on their helmets and you can't tell me the manufacturers especially designed them the only way I can see out of it if you didn't want to get a fine is you'd have to have some sort of certification or carry some sort of bloody letter from the manufacturer saying yes my helmet can be fitted with a camera I mean what manufacturer is going to stick their neck out and do that. None of them. So yeah, stand by. I'm going to uh, send an email to MRA South Australia, which is the Motorcycle Riders Association of South Australia, and get them to clarify it. And uh, I'll get back to you on that. But at the moment, you can get fined. I'm sure initially you'll only get warned, but watch this space. I think things are going to happen because South Australia will raise revenue any damn way they can. And this is one of them. Mark my words. Alright, I'm coming to the Cherry Place. Hello? Not bad. So where are these cherries from? Oh, you grow them here? Oh, that's alright. There you have it guys. Thanks Bandit Nev for pointing that out. Trouble is, only a 10 bucks in my wallet. And they don't take F pass. So, I'll grab him another day. The cherries looked alright though. 22 bucks a kilo. Oh, they had some cheaper ones there. But you know, I'm going to uh, Costco's next week, so I'll grab some from there. They won't be any dearer. Hopefully they're fresh. As you saw there, those ones are actually grown just up the back there. Hey, 
we've got this new jacket this jacket here I bought this from the uh, Harley shop a week ago I went on a ride um, not long ago and it was about 36 or 7 and I saw a few guys on Harleys with a jacket like this and I said aren't you hot and they said no it's all um, it's like a mesh and I had a look at them and I went you know what I have to have one of them all I've got on is a t-shirt I've got this jacket on and the wind's blowing straight through it and you don't get sunburn you know and I can feel the breeze blowing straight through this top and I thought what a fabulous uh, summer jacket so it's another good thing I bought it's a couple hundred bucks but you know what it's bloody beautiful to wear in summer and you know how hot it gets here in Australia so I've got the leather jacket for winter I've got this one for summer and I have a dry rider as well for if I'm going to go on long trips in winter which is 100% waterproof Okay, well, uh, unless something interesting happens I'll call it quits there so a big thank you to my subscribers as I've already said if you've got any suggestions or you want to see anything or you, you know, want me to take a particular bike out for a ride let me know I'm too happy to oblige I think I'll be taking the Honda 754 out for a spin soon I uh, haven't ridden that poor girl for a while So this is here in South Oz, ride safe everybody, have a great Christmas and uh, be safe, thank you for watching.